Hi everybody, welcome back, and I hope everyone had a wonderful thanks, uh, Thanksgiving, <laughs> Valentine's Day yesterday. Um, this will go up on both of my channels, um, and it is a good size shopping haul. It is a little bit of, I think actually everything is Walmart, because we have a storm coming. Go figure. It's going to go from 60s. You know, upper 50s to 60 degrees on Wednesday and drop down below freezing. And we're going to get 5 to 8 inches of snow between or late Wednesday night to early Thursday and into Thursday. Are you kidding me? Here we go again. Just like it happened like a week ago. <coughs> I have a drink with me. And, uh... I'm starting my day with Gatorade Zero. Sorry guys, you're going to see me drink because I'm not cutting this. Um, just because I'm stocking up, I did pick up another six pack of soda. Um, gastroparesis, it helps so much with your stomach. I limit myself to one a day. Um, and I'm buying. I also went and picked up Another um, Lipton Zero Peach Tea. And the expiration date on this one is not on the top. Yes, it is. I see it. Um, May 30th. So what I do with these is I make sure um, if it's not visible and I have to look at a bottle, I write with a marker on the top of it or on the side the date. And I constantly am moving them around. The same with my water. Even though my water is like two years, I still make sure I'm rotating that kind of stuff. Especially the Gatorade, which has a kind of a short day. And especially this peach tea. That has a really short day. Like only two, three months. So watch things like that. <coughs> um... I'm stocking up on a few things, um, as you'll see. I um, also picked myself up some mozzarella because I'm, I'm up to no good. I want to have some something cheesy, so I thought I'd make myself some cheesy potatoes today. Um, <coughs> hold on just a second, guys. Sorry, I literally just walked in the door and started this, so um, that's why I'm coughing. I bought two of the Blue Bonnet margarines. Um, like I said, I'm stocking up on stuff. Um, mainly because I want to make sure that if the shelves are empty of what I buy, I don't have to worry about it. And that's the first time they've had it in over a week. So um, I also got myself a half gallon of milk because I was out. Um, and I'm going to... Orange juice with no pulp. Trying to get my self built back up a little bit better. And um, I know I get some from the food pantry, but this is the one thing that I use a lot of. And this is the um, canned chicken. Um, it's like tuna fish, but it's chicken chunks. Um, these are the big cans, and it's like seven, almost eight dollars for this stack of four. And they are the big cans. Um, I use these in a lot of things. I make chicken salad. I make, um, I put it in, <coughs> let me show you. I buy these. These are the Nor Alfredo. And I'll put, not the whole can, but a partial can, or I'll cook two of these up and put the big can in it. Um, I also have small cans of these, so they work wonderful to make a meal. Um, and I also put them in cream of chicken soup, um, with about half a can of milk or water and serve it over noodles or rice. And it's really, really good, guys. Um, I use a lot of the black beans to make the barbecue chicken burrito bowl. Um, so I bought a couple cans of those, and um, I bought myself a can of corned beef hash, because I, I just like corned
corned beef hash, but it's expensive. $1.88 for the cheapest can. That was the cheapest. And I got a couple of cans of cream of chicken soup because I don't get very much cream of chicken soup. Um, I also got myself the 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 pack. This is six ninety four of the Gatorade Zero Orange, which I'm drinking on. They're smaller bottles. Um, I prefer the bigger bottles, but um, they were five five sixty eight, I think, for the big bottles. But um, I don't know. Something about the smaller bottles do seem to taste better. I, I'm not sure why, and I waste less, so um, I do drink those better. Um, I did get another creamer. I'm hoping this one actually has the flavor in it. My last one is just plain, no flavor in it. Somebody goofed. Um, and then, of course, I bought two of these, the Nor Alfredo um, dinners. They're real easy to fix, and I really do like those. I did pick up another one of these that are on clearance for 50 cents. Um, I do plan on making some cookies. And then um, I haven't been getting spaghetti from the food pantry, so I did pick up another box of spaghetti. And um, I also bought, because I'm stocking up, two packages of these Equate Everyday Clean Wipes. I like these over the um, regular bathroom wipes. Um, these are a little bit bigger and they don't lose lint on you. And if you're a woman, I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, sorry guys if you're watching this. It may be TMI, but you really don't need the lint in places. And these honestly are about the best. Um, there's other ones that are probably better, but you pay a lot more. Um, these are $1.94 now. Uh, they did start out being like $1.48 or something a while back, and they've creeped up to almost 2 bucks. So there's that. Um, I did get some vitamin B1. This is it for me. Um... That's for my friend. He's out and he's supposed to take a um, thousand milligrams of that a day. That's also what they call thiamine. So if anyone, if you're ever looking for thiamine, vitamin B1 is thiamine. Um, and if your thiamine is low, this is what you take. So just a little FYI. FYI um, when my friend got out of the research at the burn center, they said his thiamine's almost non-existent. Um, he needs to take a thousand milligrams a day, which is four of these. So this doesn't. This is only twenty-five days worth of pills. Um, and so, <coughs> um, I probably should have picked him up more than one bottle. But, uh, anyways, so. If you ever, and I was like, Thiamin, she was B1. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't real, you know, me, I didn't realize Thiamin and B1 were the same. And she goes, yes. And I was like, okay, that makes more sense. And so um, now that I know that, it's easier for me to understand that. So now I can share that information with you all too. Um... I also bought a quart of oil for my car, and um, I bought him a, a big case of water. Um, and it seems like there was something else I bought, and I can't remember for the life of me what it was. I also did go ahead, because they had these back in stock, um, just to have extra ones, because I have a bunch of stuff I'll be tagging over the next couple of days to take to my booth. Um... And then I bought some of this quarter inch, um, what do you call this, elastic. I bought this package of clear pens. This is all having to do with a craft I'm going to do. And then I bought two 
composition notebooks. These at the dollar or at the Walmart are 97 cents a piece. If I was to go to the Dollar Tree and get them, they're about 25. And they're not this thick. There you don't get as many pages. Um, and the cover is super thin. It's like paper thin. So for the craft I'm doing, um, you guys see this on my um, Rambling Blam Brambles Vlogs channel coming up. You'll see this craft along with um, another craft that will be coming up. Um, and I think you'll enjoy what I'm going to do. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and I want to tell everyone, I know you all are like, gosh, you know, that's a lot of stuff you just spent money on and I know you're on extreme low income. There's some times that you just have to put it out there and think to yourself and manifest the things that you need to come to you. Now, is it always going to happen? No, but you need to put yourself out there and you need to say, you know, this is what I need. This is what I need to have happen. This is what I need. Um, and one way, shape or form, something's going to happen to give you what you need, but you do need to put your effort out there. Maybe that was a long-winded explanation. I don't know if the whole explanation is going to stay in there, but it is all about manifesting what you need to have in your life and doing things to bring about those things that you need. Putting it out to the universe um, and then working on those things that you need. Um, so that's how... I was able to afford to be able to go get the extra things this month to add to my um, things that I needed. And I still have a little extra cash left um, in my pocket that I will hoard <laughs> because I have turned into a terrible hoarder of money. Um, and when she was ringing this up and I was watching the total go up and I was like, mm, and I was like, no. I have a hundred dollars in my pocket. I'm okay. <laughs> you know, um, I hate spending money now. Just saying, I hate spending money. So anyways, with that being said, guys, I hope each and every one of you, um, have a most blessed day. Thank you for watching my videos, uh, subscribing, hitting that like button comment down below i love chatting with everybody i love seeing everybody's comments um positive comments and um talking with everybody and um i've got so much that i want to do before the storm hits and I, I know i've got things i gotta do before the storm hits um and it's just like a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. So everybody, I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Bye, guys.